How are you? <laughs> okay, here we go. Go. Yeah. Open your hand. Oh. <laughs> cool. Cheers, man. Cheers. Thank you. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. Yes. <laughs> Hello everyone, my name's Matt Lewis. And I'm Alfie Enoch. And here we are in the, uh, the room we spend most of our time when we're not busy shooting on the set of Harry Potter. Yeah, that's right, we've been hanging about in this room for about ten years. And in that time, some of us have got to discussing what we'd like to do on a film production if we weren't actors. And this year, some of us have been very lucky to actually get behind the camera and find out exactly what goes on in these other departments. And we thought you'd like to come with us. That's right, as Dan's always found editing interesting, he got a chance to spend time with Mark Day, who was the editor for this film and The Order of the Phoenix. Get out of town. No, it's true. No, actually, get out of town. <laughs> leave. No, unfortunately we need him. Hey, Hello there. How are you, Mark? I'm good, how are you? Good, yes, very, very well, thank you. Good to see you. And thank you for letting me come up here today no, as well. well this is great, it's very exciting for me, actually. OK, so, Mark, what have, what have you been working on today? Today, I've been working on the library scene where you talk to Hermione about who you're going to go to the party with. Now, um, I do seem to remember in, the, in that scene, well, when Hermione hits me, there was one take when it was very hard. Yeah, to actually, have yeah. you got that? I'd quite I like to that see take, that. Because you probably, you probably haven't seen that. No, no well, I, I was concussed, of course. Okay. But I am close on one. Oh, I'm kidding. OK, sorry. Um, that really um, didn't hurt quite a lot. I'll ask someone I like. <laughs> You're laughing because you hit me so hard, aren't you? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and you really can't hear the crunch yeah. of paper on bone, can't so you? So I couldn't use that one because obviously I you cracked can't... up. Fly me. Ooh, <laughs> maybe she doesn't know her own strength. Oh, Dan does now. This is all very fancy here in one of You've yes. got a multicolored keyboard, for goodness sake. So I have, how long have you been added. using computers um, for to edit? Cause... Actually, for about uh, it's probably about eight or nine years now. Every cut that I do. Every version of a cut I yeah. can keep, so I can always go back to right. an old cut. How do you choose when to cut away from someone? I mean, yeah, it's just instinct. You can't really teach someone that. Okay. You just look at a scene and you just think about it. You have to kind of feel as though you're the person in okay. the scene and yeah. then kind of think, when would I actually want to see the other person for, okay. for that particular line? Because that's the thing, in my head, if I was editing a scene, it would just be when one person's talking, you have the camera on. Yeah. And that's, but that's incredibly yeah, dull to watch. Exactly. But, really but that's why how, you know, it evolves, basically. You, you, you kind of start yeah. off, maybe you start off like that. When I first start a scene, I usually overcut it. And then I'll look at it again. I'll go back and I'll look at when you say from the beginning. Well, I'll mean? use too many shots because the director will yes. cover a scene multiple angles, yeah. as you well know. Yeah. <laughs> so then I start paring it down and kind of extending shots. How different is it to cut a massive action scene, say, like the fight between Dumbledore and Voldemort yeah. at the end of the fifth film, yeah. and a scene like this where you've got three or four shots in, in total? Sometimes it's actually more complicated because action scenes are really quick. It's yeah. just a few frames here, a few frames there, and you just have to keep cutting. And whereas on a dialogue scene, you have to get the nuance of the scene. And that's the tricky thing sometimes. You, you know, where to go on you for a particular line or not to be on you for a particular line. You know, but editing is very subjective. And so what you may think is a good cut, I may not. How many times would you see this film? Oh, man. <laughs> many, many, many times. And that's also quite difficult because you actually have to kind of keep a clear head and look at it from an outsider's point of view as if you're seeing it for the first time, which is quite tricky sometimes because yeah. I've seen it 300 times. <laughs> at what point would you declare a film was finished? Who, what is the last person to...? Well, we go through various processes where we show the producers, obviously, and they all have their, their say. You know, so everyone has ideas, obviously, about filmmaking, and that's why it's in, so interesting being an editor, because you're involved with the whole, yeah. whole process of where it evolves over the months and months that you're working on a film yeah. of this scale. Thank yeah. you very, very much indeed, Mark. Well, thank you. Nice to see hey, you. I shall now go and shoot some more material for yes. you. All right, <laughs> thank you.